Anyway. All right, so the tree. So, um, I'm sleeping in, as I usually do, because I work really late. And uh, I'm in bed, and I hear this massive crash outside. Well, first I hear the wind blowing, and it's just, the wind is so intense. I'm like, holy fuck. I open my window, and it's like trees are fucking bending left and right. I'm like, god damn, that wind is strong. And then I heard this huge crash outside, and I wasn't sure what it was. It didn't sound like a tree hitting the house, but it was loud enough where I was like, what the fuck? It wasn't loud enough that I thought the house was damaged. I didn't even, I didn't think anything hit the house. I thought, fuck, what was that loud bang? Did, was there a, a car accident outside on the road or something? And so I, I threw some clothes on. I went out and I'm looking around and I looked to the neighbor's half of the duplex that we have and uh, a massive tree in the yard, the front yard next door had blown over be- due to the wind and crushed uh one of the upstairs bedrooms like if if someone was in that room at the time they could have died and i looked at the damage and i was like holy fuck i mean this had just happened right there was no like there was no accident scene tape there was no emergency services it was just like fuck that that tree crushed our that half of our house and i was thinking god what Like, what if somebody was in that room? You know, there could be a fucking dead body in there. Our neighbor, one of our neighbors could be dead. And so I'm fucking, I start getting worried. And so I went up to the house. (laughs) I was actually underneath the fallen tree, but I I had to get underneath it because that's, that was the only way to get to the front door. And I I needed to check to see if they were all right. I didn't know what their phone number was. So I, I went up. I walked over like broken glass and shit, ducking under branches, and I rang the doorbell, and I was waiting for a response, and nobody was answering. I'm like, fuck, well, either there's still a dead body in there, or nobody's home, which I hope was the case. Um, and, uh, yeah, so nobody answered the door, so I'm like, fuck, I better get out from underneath this tree. And, uh... And I did. And um, I let my roommates know what was going on. Uh, I called 911. Um, I told them what the issue was. And they put me through to the local... Uh... Oh, no. They they dispatched... No, no. Uh, 911... The 911 dispatcher just told me that uh, BC Hydro and the local fire department were already aware of the situation because there was, like... Apparently a bunch of uh a bunch of shit was taken out. Like a bunch of trees had fallen. There was a there was a few houses damaged in our area. It was a huge fucking storm. It wasn't just localized to the district or even the city. It was like even over in Vancouver Island, people were victim to the same windstorm. It was fucking huge. Um and um uh, so I called nine one one and they said, uh, hydro company and nine one or the fire department are already aware. They are already addressing multiple, uh, um, instances like cases. Like they're busy, based on what I'm trying to say. They're fucking busy, and they'll get to your house when, when they can. And I was like, all right. And so I waited outside for the fire department to see if they would come within an hour. So I just sat out there. I lit a fucking cigarette. I was just fucking sitting there, chilling. People were walking by like, holy shit. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's what happened. And uh, people were like driving by and like slowing down in their cars so they could get their phone out and add the 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 tree that had crushed my house to the to their Instagram story I wanted I was bit I had to bite my tongue I wanted to be like fuck you and your Instagram stick your phone up your ass you know uh 
Yeah, I hope I hope you got your Facebook, your Instagram story. I hope you got a cool thing you can share, even though it didn't happen to you. It's like you can take credit for it on your social media and use it to get a bunch of likes, asshole. And so I'm sitting out there, and then this uh, this lady, uh, she walks up the street. She sees the tree. She sees my house. She walks up to me. She's like, do you live there? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, uh, yeah, that tree that fell on your house, that's my tree. <laughs> and I didn't know what to think. I was like, half of me was like, so it was you. <laughs> uh, but uh, I didn't do that. I was just like, uh, oh, <laughs> cool. And uh, apparently like, like, the, the the property that the tree was planted on, it was her property, and the tree had been there for a very long time, and she had no idea that it was going to be blown over like that. Nobody anticipated this storm, and, you know, even if the storm was anticipated, uh, I don't think she would have guessed. I mean, obviously, she didn't guess that uh, a, a windstorm in this area could be strong enough to uproot a tree like that, but... God damn, it was. Um. Uh, and um. We 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 talked for a bit, and um. I mean, at, at this point, I still think like, fuck, maybe there's still a dead body in the in the house. Like, I don't know, because nobody else is home to like let me know. The dead body isn't going to let me know, obviously. Hey, I'm dead. Uh, the fire department isn't here to go into the property and see if there's a body. I can't go in. I don't want to break into somebody's house. So I'm just fucking sitting outside. I'll just keep smoking. <laughs> and um, uh, what else? Oh, and then uh, one of the people who... Uh, there's there's a number of people who live next door to us, and one of them showed up, and uh, he was started talking to the lady, and I remember, I remember the wind blew his hat off, <laughs> and it rolled down the road, and I saw it, and I ran after it to catch it, and he did the same thing, but I got it before he did. I'm like, there's your hat. He's like, thanks, dude, and uh, he said, uh, I'm your neighbor, by the way. And uh, I recognized him, but we had never really been formally introduced before until now. It takes a, a tree falling on the fucking house for, me, for us to get to know each other. But uh, we shook hands, and I'm like, dude, were you home at the time? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I was downstairs, though. So that the house was empty except for one guy at the time, and he was downstairs when the tree hit. So he was home, but nobody was hurt. He was. She just heard the crash. She's like, "What the fuck is that?" And then he went upstairs, looked into the bedroom, and then just saw. You know, you know that scene in Poltergeist where the tree comes through the fucking window, the scary tree. It's basically that. We open the bedroom door. Like, holy shit. And then, um, and so we were talking for a bit, and then uh, he's like, "Well, I gotta go to work." <laughs> So, uh, I'll see you later. I'm like, all right, yes, peace. And then I just sat outside for a bit longer waiting for the fire department. And then I'm just like, fire department still didn't show up an hour later. I'm just like, dude, they're probably fucking busy. What am I waiting, waiting out here for? Like, there's nothing I can do here. The power's out. I can't, I'm not he man. I can't fucking lift the tree off the house. What am I doing here? Am I just waiting for the, like the fire department doesn't even need me. They'll come by and then. I mean, they'll probably want to ask me a few questions, but, I mean, there's nothing they can't assess just by l looking at the this, this situation. There's no damage to our side of the house, so they had no reason to enter our side of the property. Um, so, uh, eventually, the um, fire department came by, 
they put accident tape around the house. Nobody w could go near it. Um, our property owners came by to see what was going on, to check in on us. I had phoned them earlier to give them a heads up. And uh, one of them was like, you're welcome to stay at a friend's house tonight if you want. I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> like, that's the idea. Um, didn't realize I needed permission. <laughs> I'm just joking. She was, she was being nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I stayed at a friend's house that night. And it was the night after that I went back. I went to visit my mom for the holidays. I wasn't going, I wasn't going to do that until a few days later, but I was just like, fuck the power's out now and there's nothing I can do about it. So I might as well just leave early. And, uh, during that time, the power was out. That was when I was supposed to get some voice work done for part D of episode 13. And I didn't get that done. And once I had left out of town, uh, it was then I couldn't find the time after that to get the voices recorded. Like I didn't have my setup and, uh, I was doing a bunch of things during the day, um, that was why I really wanted to get that voice work done before I left. But then the, the power outage just threw a wrench and things. And then, uh, so that's why there wasn't anything in December. I wanted to get something put out in December, but there wasn't. And, um, and so when I came back in January, I, I got back to work immediately. And, uh, part episode 13, part D is out on Patreon for $1 subscribers. And, uh, Part E is is uh, just about done as well, and that's going to go up really soon. So um, I'm thinking uh, the end of this week, Part E will be put up. So um, the whole, all of Episode 13, everything that's done of Episode 13 so far is about an hour long in total. So like if you're if you're throwing me a dollar on Patreon per month, you can go on there and watch it all right now. Part E very soon, but everything else you can watch right now. And, um, and yeah, so that, that's my, uh, oh yeah, the tree. So the tree, they, uh, emergency services came by, they lifted the tree off the house, they cut it up. It's a big ass tree. They cut it up and the massive tree parts are just like, lying flat on our front lawn right now and it's like the city doesn't want to do anything about it the city just left it there and then they told our property owners that it's their responsibility to get rid of it and the tr the tree parts have just been lying on the lawn for like a month now and uh hopefully they have plans to get lift the this stuff away soon because it's really it's really thick like it's a massive pile of wood outside like you can it almost obstructs the entire view of our house and um so hopefully they get rid of that and that's my tree story i hope you enjoyed my tree story everyone mm -hmm.